welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about some sticker tickers that we were watching today that mostly all turned red. And we'll start off with the very first one on top, and that's XBIO. XBIO is a low floater. I always like to go to Finviz when I'm in here and I just type in like XBIO and I can spot what size the float is. Pretty accurate float, 5.37 million. And I know exactly how I, what kind of trade we, we got here. We definitely got a low low floater. Five million is a pretty reasonable low float. And it's on top of our list. It was up 193% today. Let's go ahead and pull up the chart and let's have some look at some of these stocks. So we're going to put that in here. Let's look at the 20 day. You can see it had a nice little bump. A lot of times I look for a 50% retracement bounce back or maybe back to the 200 EMA. We landed right on that 200 EMA. That 50% is right about in here and I can see a nice little place where it kind of stopped right around that area as a support level. Let me go up here and change this line. We'll magnify this up just a little bit. Now we won't. We'll put it back down so I can see that Fibonacci. But we're going to go ahead and put that in right here. Let's go ahead and pull up a bigger chart. Let's look at the yearly. See, I've got some old trend lines on here right now. So I want to look at the yearly. I might just clean it up. Yeah, I'm going to clean this up. Clear drawing set. So we've definitely popped up way too high. We got a little resistance level right here. Then we got another one right here. It's like a gap up almost. Then we've got the low supports right down in here on the yearly chart. Now I'm going to go back three years. I'm going to see if I can find anything on a three year. See, we start getting up to these real high places up here. So this thing ain't going to do us no good. This has probably had splits and stuff like that. Let's go back to the 20 day. She's continuing on going on down after hours. I think we could probably hit around 229 or around this moving average right here. And that's the 34. But let's take a better look on the daily. One minute. I'm going to magnify this area right in here. And I'm going to draw some trend lines. And draw one right here. This is the breakout we had today. We had three white soldiers. Actually four. I would have probably exited the trade right here. But then it went ahead and popped up more and pulled them back. So let's add a little support line right here to this. We got three different channels. We got one channel support down here at 169 to 177. This is on the one minute. We have the 257 to 266. And right now we're at 284. So let me magnify this up here and we'll see where we can get into this trade now. So that first support channel is going to be right in, let's go. Oh, there's another little spot right in here. We'll make this here three, the first support channel. I got a pivot point, low support, and a high. And I want to highlight that in. So I'm going to come in tomorrow. If it pulls back to this lower support right around 243, I might scalp it up to 266. That, if that doesn't hold, we're definitely going to drop down here to 169 to 177. Did it get any news today? It probably did because it's running like this. Well, that DoorDash really had a day today. Let me see. Gosh, it had a lot of news today. It rejected approximately 100. Yeah, this is definitely running on momentum. In fact, I'm going to look at it a better way. I'm going to go up to the Wahoo Finance. Just easier to read the news in here sometimes. More than quadruples on massive volume after partners upbeat trial news. So it had some upbeat trial news. That's good. Positive data for partners involved in phase three clinical trial. Polyxin approximate technology. Okay, so phase three trial news is good. Yep, we'll go ahead and 
counters is that. Phase three, usually a lot more money spent, so we're going to have a little pullback. I think it's going to be in this lower section right here, right around the 243. If that does not hold, we'll drop on down to this lower channel, and then I'll chase it back up to this resistance. And this is XBIO, one to watch, low float, 5.3 million. Let's see what else we got on here. We got Nile. Talked about Nile the other day, had a nice little recovery. It's kind of choppy, keeps pulling back to this trend line. I'll show you on the 20 day. I drew a trend line from the tops from this lower high that we had right here, and we pulled right back to it. We could see a triple bottom, a triple bottom down here at 4080. That's going to be a strong buy. If it does pull back to that triple bottom, and then we can run it back up to this 4350 area if we break this trend line. But that would be your third support. And I think your first one's going to be right around here at 4279. I'll show you how I come up with that. Right in this area, right in here. Right here. See that? Right in there. So we've got one, two, and three supports. Maybe another one right here. Yeah, there's definitely another one right in here. Kind of getting fogged up. I might have to start clearing this out pretty soon so I can see it a little bit better. We'll make some more room. I don't want to get rid of these trend lines yet because they mean a lot to me. So we're going to pull this to the five day, five minute. It's got to hold this support level right here. And if I'm looking at it at the 20 day, that trend line is going to be right there, right around that 43.29 area. Fine tune it right there. So that support right there needs to hold. And that's going to move on up higher as we go throughout the day. So, but right now, that 43.29, 43. 43.24. Then you got these other three right down here with a strong buy at 40.85 to bring it back up to this resistance bar. Now I called this trade out a couple times and it bounces up pretty good. We do have a higher low and we did have a higher low today. So this could start to squeeze. It is forming a flag, but um, it's a symmetrical um, bearish flag for right now. Maybe it'll pull back. I think it's going to pull back a little bit in the morning and then start to bounce back up. But I'm going to go ahead and I'd, I'd like to save this chart the way it is, but I'm going to go ahead and erase it. I'm just starting to get to where I can't read it. We're going to start fresh. We're going to start fresh. There's definitely a triple bottom right down in here, right, right there, and we got no support right here. And then we got the third one right here. See how much cleaner it is now. I'm just going to keep coming on up here. It's kind of a choppy little situation right here, and I'm trying to look for a pivot point on this 20-day channel. It's real hard to see, but I'm thinking right in here. It's going to be my, my little pivot point. I'll show you why. Because we've had some touches down here. We've touched down here, and then we touched down here. And we kind of had an equilibrium right in here, right in here, and also right in here. As of today, also an equilibrium. So this is going to be my 20-day pivot point area at 43.81. we got three supports below it. I need 40.82 to hold. And the resistance to break is going to be right here at right there at forty-seven dollars. So we got one, two, three, forty-four, eighty-seven, forty-five, seventy-three, with a, a strong sell at forty-seven oh three. Unless you start to run on up, and then you really have a hard spot right up in here, and that would be my exit plan at forty-eight fifty-two. And that's Nile. Keep a good eye on Nile. I got three supports here. You can stop this chart at any time and write these numbers down. 
We've got a pivot point area of 4381 with a low support at 4082 with a resistance to break up here at $47. And if you can get past that, it's a gift at 4832. That's Nile. The next one we're going to talk about is Apple. Uh, gentleman in the room, anytime he starts to look at it as a bear, I start to look at it at it as a bull. I had a support level in the last video that I did at 121 and we pulled right back to it. We do have a triple bottom at that 121 area. This is Apple. So I'm thinking when he was calling it out a bear, it dipped on down. Had a pretty good little trade out of that. Seems like he knows this stock pretty well. So if we go below the 120.54 area, we've got a channel of support right down here, right around 118 to 118.66. I'm raising the bar up on this one. I don't see it going down this far to 114, 113 at all for a triple bottom. I just can't see that happening, but you never know. You never know, but I'm definitely going to raise the bar to 118 to 118.65 for a strong buy with a resistance to break at 120 if it doesn't hold this 120.54 and 121 resist support level. And that's going to be Apple. The next one we're going to talk about is one that I like a lot. Definitely took a beating today. It was one heck of a trade for me today also. And I'm going to show you what I did on this trade here. I mean, I was really up in arms about it. Got in down here at, at 6. Well, this is Zoom. We can change that. Let me see what strike I got. I got the $700 strike. Oh, wow. December 11th. It was going to be a scalp for me today. Look where it is now. 119.19. I jumped into this trade today at 405. Let me see. I jumped in the trade today at 355. Then I jumped back in it. it. It ran on up and then pulled back, and I got back in at 405. Then I got back, it dipped on down a little bit more, and I got in at 375. 374 so that average was uh i can't remember what the average was but i went ahead and got out of it at 465 and it took me about 45 minutes to take that trade and then it went ahead and it just crashed after that and i always I said tesla at this level i will only scalp it's not a swing trade it's not a hold long it's only a scalp in a day trade and that's the only way i'll play it unless and I'll show you what unless means on the chart. Now, this is a 20-day chart. We've had a 20, good 20-day 20 run on it. So I'm going to try to find an equilibrium around here of maybe a 50% retracement for the lowest low or right in, right in baby, maybe right here around the, I mean, that 543. If we hit that, that's going to be a triple bottom, strong buy. Now, I thought we were going to start building a new channel above the, the 588 area, right around in here, right around above the 600. And that did prove me wrong today. But today was an, a definitely a different kind of trading day where there was no news to bring the market down. I think just all the fat cats got together and decided, let's short the market and, and buy it cheaper and get back in so we can run these tech stocks up again. And that's the way I'm thinking. So I think we are going to have a reversal tomorrow. Today was unexpected, and there was no reason for the sell-off. But you never know. We'll wake up, and the market could drop, and then start to bounce back up pretty solid. So I'm going to I'm going to put a low, low, low support down here at 557.36 for a very strong buy for a swing trade, or maybe a good scalp back up to this area right around this $600 area, 604 somewhere maybe even right around this right under 600 bucks right there 597 i see it because of this ascending triangle low support down here at 543 
and a resistance to break right around the 596. I'm going to be watching this close. This is a, like I said, and I'm going to repeat it again. I will only scalp it from here. Today was kind of tense because I didn't, that market was acting real weird and I was just stuck in this trade, but you know, I could have got out with a hundred here or a hundred there, and then I end up with 261. So I was pretty excited about that, but I got beat up on Facebook today. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Oh, I, let me make this call, call clearer here. These tickers, a lot of these tickers I'm doing is for the room. Trades that we might be stuck in or trades that we're watching. So like I said, low support right down here, right around the 558 area for a strong buy. If that's what happens tomorrow, that's going to be my low support. And then I want to bring it up to resistance level. I'm going to find a pivot point spot in between here. And I'm looking at maybe right in here for a pivot point. So that's going to be my first support. Maybe my second. We'll take a look at it here in a second. Yeah, and that first one's going to be in this channel right in here. So we'll just chalk this one down for the first, 587. I thought we were going to make a new channel above 6, but I'm going to take that back. I think we can pull back into this 20-day low support right around 558. That second one right around 576, and that first one right around 588.34 with a resistance to break. Right here at 604.78, and then we'll probably start going back into this channel. But who knows? I mean, today was a freaked out day. Like I said, no headlines, and we could just have another bounce back up. I'm bullish in the market. Let's go ahead and that's Tesla. Let's look at another one. Archon. I want to look at the float on this one. It was a runner today. It was up 22%. We're going to go to Finviz. I'm going to type in Archon. A lot of these big ones today were low floats. This one here is 4.2 million. So yes, it's a low float stock. Let's go ahead and look at it. Let's see what kind of news it had. Usually they jump on these on news and then they'll get in them and get out of them. You see what happened today. We had that nice little run after hours. It ran all the way up to about 355 with the 307 resistance. And it's pulled back quite a bit. These are the kind of trades that I like to look at the second day and see if I can get in them or not. I want to check out the news. I want to know why this news is so, you know, I got to know what's in the news. Moving stocks. Raking technology shares are higher. Not seeing company Pacific. No news. Just a low float pump and dump. That's all it is. Low float pump and dump. They did have some sales here year to date, down 35%. See, that earnings sucked. Lost 2.7 million. It's definitely a pump and dump. So that's how I look at it. If I want to play this, I'm going to be in and out of it. There are going to be some people stuck in this trade. So let's find some support levels. I'm thinking low support needs to hold is 132. We got 141 and 149, and then a retracement back up maybe to about 175. And if we get lucky, we can run it up to 186. And that's going to be Archon, pump and dump, low float. Keep an eye on it. But always remember when you're in them low, low floats, they're going to be volatile. So you need to know how to read the charts. You know how, need to know how to read the candles, and you need to know not to go into a trade blindly. Check out that news. If there's no news, then you're in a risky trade. Risky. Risky. Just a low float. Space. 32.23. Nice little bounce yesterday with a double top today. Space is looking good, ain't it? Let's look at the news and see if it had any news. Uh, unusual option activity, nine interval stocks, there's no news, no news, just running on momentum, we had a, called this out, called an ascending triangle breakout, and we did have it, so now we're going to pull back to this ascending triangle right here at 2930, we want that support to hold at 2930, that horizontal line, 
we had a triple top breakout and that's a beauty let's see if that holds if that 2930 does not hold we're going to be in trouble so we're going to run it back up to resistance levels i see one resistance level right here there i wish it would hurt get in there there it is sometimes i wonder I'm trying to find those spots here where we're going to have resistance. Bam. Okay. Low support, 29.30. Resistance to break is going to be right up here around this 33.74. If we can break past that, we'll get up here to a triple top. If it doesn't break the triple top, take your profit. It'll pull back. If it doesn't break the triple top at 35.79, if it doesn't hit it or it comes close to it, if we have a lower high, you take your profit out of the trade if you're stuck in it. Because this, you know, it's pretty drastic today. Sell off. Everything sold off today. I think they just went across the board and just fat cats just sold, made a bunch of money, and they probably bought back in on the dip at, in the close. That's what I'm looking at. Space. Low support, 29.30. Resistance to break, 33.74. To a triple top of 35.79 and if you don't know how to play a triple top look it up the next one we're going to check out triple top is a resistance in most cases Boeing and then I'm gonna have a drink I have support level on Boeing we hit it today I didn't touch this chart at all let me see here. Boeing says it's supporting passengers and cargo carriers and guidance to prepare to fly vaccines around the world. Yeehaw! Jeffries adjusts Boeing's price to two seventy-five from two fifty. I had a two fifty target on it myself. They reiterate it's a buy rating. COVID vaccine makes this stock bullish. So let's take a good look at it here. Let's magnify this baby up. We got that low support right here at 228.87. I'm going to have to clear this chart up pretty soon. In fact, I'll do it now. I just want to see what we got here. We'll pull this back to the 20 day. We have a low support right here. We have another one right down in here. Now, I had that 228.47 for a serious support level, and we did pull back to it. So we could see start seeing a retracement, and we did see a retracement bounce back up to that 34 EMA on the daily, on the 20 minute, one hour chart. And there's a little gap right here of resistance right there. See, we hit that little resistance where we had that pullback and that cup and handle and it failed. And it pulled on back to that solid support. Strong buy down here at 223.92. I want 228.47 to hold. And for resistance levels, we need to break past 235. So we, we do have an option at pulling back to this 200 on the 20 day at 223.92. 228.47 needs to hold. Resistance to break 234.94. And we can get back, but we do have lower highs. I think we're going to consolidate to the right. Boeing, B A. C L G C. LSI had a beautiful run today. Low float, pump and dump. Did have some news, and I think that was a good thing, good catalyst for it today, and we're going to pull that news up. Greenwich Life Science stock skyrockets on more than 2,000% after upbeat data on breast cancer treatment. We all care about the breast. So shares of Greenwich Science, GLSI, I think it was in its third trial stage. Traded really had some volume today. It's a low, plo low float pump. Its initial public offering was $5.75. This was a great stock to short once it was up and it ran. Definitely a great stock to short once it was up and ran. So kudos for the treatment of breast cancer and let's take another look at this thing we're going to find some support levels we're bouncing back up into after into close 
I don't think it's going to last too long. It'll be another one that we're going to find a little resistance right here. And we're going to have a little pullback right here. And another one right, right there. And another one right there. And then we got a hard resistance right here at the 89.67. And that's where we hit right there. So we're going to go ahead and pull this up to the one day, one minute. See how that drastically dropped? See, that? I mean, this was horrible. At 130 all the way down to like 43 bucks. We're going to get the same kind of volatility tomorrow. Now, I think this thing can pull back and start consolidating down here at this $40 level. And if we see that 40 bucks, that needs to hold. If that doesn't hold, we'll jump on down here to right around 30. And there's a little pivot point area in between that 30. And that's going to be right there at 32.10. So, yeah, this is going to be a very volatile stock, GLSI, breast cancer stock. It can pull back to this 200 EMA. I use that as a very strong support level. If that doesn't hold... We'll go back to this lower support channel right down in here. And that was right there at 44.88 with a, no, a strong buy right down here at 26.96. That needs to hold. But I don't. I think this is going to be a, a dangerous play to play right now. I wouldn't be buying it long, not at all. I'd be scalping it and day trading it until it consolidated and found a spot. Next one, Zoom. Zoom had a beautiful pullback today. This definitely will retrace back up. I love Zoom. I used to kind of think, you know, I had a little bias against it. But now that COVID has really took hold, and one gentleman in stock to it, so I laughed at him. It was right around 111. And I, I was the first one to watch this and watch it run, and I popped it. But then that bad news of China came out, but they were spying through us on Zoom and the stock tank tanked and then this other guy came in and said hey it's going to run to 150 and here we are we run it up to 419 500 bucks so that was i had to reward him for that call now i'm thinking we're going to have a retracement back up anything lower than this support area that we had or this even double bottom is going to be a strong buy at 381.80 to 379.78 resistance to break is going to be Two-tiered at 388.08, and then right up in here, right around this spot, is going to be your hard resistance to break. Right there. Then we got right here with a good consolidated area. If we go past 397, we'll get back into that $400 area. Right in here, 397.06. So zoom, a retracement back up to the resistance channel of 391.27 to 393.27 with a hard resistance at 397.06. Strong buy at 379.78 and 381.80. That's going to be Zoom. And another one we're going to look at. We've got two more lists. TSM, Taiwan stock. Let's look at the 20 day. Semiconductor trade. I got a low support down here right around 102.35 to 10. What is that? 10. Well, let me magnify this up. 102.91. So we got a, a 102.41 to 102.91 with that first support at 103.67 with a resistance to break right at 105.06. And that's going to be your TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor Stock. And I'd like to see this channel hold. If not, it's going to be a very strong buy right under 100 bucks for long-term hold. That's TSM, and we got one more to go, and that's going to be PayPal. PayPal took a nasty beating today. It pulled back to that 200 on the 20 day. No reason for the sell off. TTM is kind of negative, though, 
but we are showing some diversification here diversity I think you now PayPal I really liked it when it was down at one down in this area down in here we kind of took off it had an ascending triangle and then played around with that for about four days and said it just couldn't break resistance at 219 I had a 219 resistance on it we pulled back to that 200 I think this is a good area. We did have a triple bottom. Uno, dos, tres. So we could start to retrace back up. And resistance to break is going to be this area right in here. Let's magnify so we can see this. 211, 11. If we can get past 211, 11. We'll bring it up to this higher high of 213.09 and 214.59. And then have a hard resistance at this channel. A horizontal line of the ascending triangle at 215.99 and that's PayPal I think that's it for the report wish everybody a good day it was kind of a tough day today uh, you got to hang in there sometimes I got into Facebook and made a bad play and lost 200 and some dollars and then I made it up with my Tesla scalp and we'll see what we can do tomorrow Kind of broke even today. I think I had a small loss. And, and usually when the market's red, I am green. But this is that 1% time where I wasn't green. I was red. I love stocks. Always remember, subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. Follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter link right here. We keep gaining a little bit of people every day. And also on our website, we have our stock twits links. I want to break this milestone of 3,000. I broke a milestone on uh, Twitter of 3,200. Thank you very much on my personal account. If you want to follow me there, I'll take you there. You can look it up. It's under I Love Stocks. You can find it under James Howard 18. And follow me on here. I post alerts in here all the time, too. Today was a bad day for me, but they'll get better. I want to appreciate everybody out there, and let's have a great day tomorrow. And let's, Today was a no-news sell-off day. I don't think there was any reason, but the fat cats just wanted to get in there at a cheaper price. I love stocks.